Hi, I'm Matt Zeller, Applications Manager for the Specialty Division of 3V Sigma USA here in Georgetown, South Carolina. Today at our Applicative Laboratory, we're going to employ several of our 3V Sigma tools to create a welcome treat for the feet. We'll use two definitions of the word renew. Here, a double entendre, if you will. Renewable components of the 3V Sigma toolbox for rice and coconut oil to renew foot soles afforded by an emulsion made by Remulsiderm MP1 and Rapagel Easy One. Our deliverables, the dynamic keratolytic duo of urea and 3D Allen Toen. It's meds for the pets, it's malice for your callus, let's make this foot renewal cream. This will be a typical biphasic oil and water emulsion that requires heat. So let's get our continuous water phase compounded and begin heating that while preparing the dispersed oil phase. Into our beaker, we have combined disodium EDTA with DL panthenol and deionized water and glycerin. We'll add our Rapagel Easy one to, to this to hydrate and swell while heating to 75 degrees Celsius. This will make our phase A. Rapagel Easy one is doing double duty here. It thickens the cream associatively, but more importantly, it maintains suspension of any solids added, such as our fine rice starch, Activederm RP. In a separate vessel, we'll combine and heat the elements or oil phase. First, we'll add our emulsion elements, our all-in-one flaked wax, Emulsiderm MP1, followed by a builder wax of citril alcohol and saracen. Finishing this oil phase is our Sensiderm CCC Light Ester and Sensiderm CP Wax Ester for a softer sensorial effect on application. We'll heat the solid to 75 degrees Celsius and mix this phase B before transfer. Now we've selected a very light coconut ester to offset the somewhat heavier aspects of the waxes saracen and acetyl palmitate. One enhancement might be adding other waxes, such as the rice wax here, or even castor wax. For foot care, waxes maintain a rich cushion on the foot pad and extend the play time for the rubbing application of this cream. This foot rub down disperses the urea and allantoin to get working on the hard job of softening dry cracked skin, bunions and calluses. Besides, who doesn't like a nice foot massage? Both of our phases are ready at 75 to 80 degrees Celsius, so we'll now combine them. At this point, we have a very stable emulsion, nicely stabilized with hydrated rapid gel easy one. We'll let this mixture slowly cool with moderate agitation. The batch is now at 55 to 60 degrees Celsius. We'll first add the key element for foot care, urea. When urea dissolves in water, it does so endothermically. So adding 15% urea will cool our batch down 10 to 15 degrees Celsius all by itself. Cool, huh? Uh, I guess pun intended there, huh? Now that the urea is dissolved, let's add a healthy amount of 3V allantoin to help with the keratolysis. Usually allantoin is difficult to dissolve into water, but not when urea is present. Urea enhances the solubility of allantoin. That's something to remember. Both work together quite well at foot renewal in a product such as this. We'll stabilize that urea with two elements. We'll use a lactate buffer, lactic acid known to stabilize urea. We'll also take advantage of the urea stabilizing property of Risa sativa rice starch. A little known quality of this polysaccharide's nature and a value added one at that. We've added our preservative, always important, and some peppermint oil for a nice cooling aroma. Time to add the final element, Activerm RP rice starch. This product is an outstanding natural offset to talcum powder with an even silkier sensorial sensation. So RP creates soft feet with clean beauty while doing double duty by stabilizing urea. Apply daily in the morning or just before bedtime and your feet will soon be soft as butter. That's our claim and we're sticking to it. Happy feet are there for the asking. Thanks for watching.